We're coming out of a, a minor mental breakdown. This is not news. This is my usual. And we're gonna get out of the house. We're gonna go get a coffee. And we're gonna talk about all the things that I miss about my old life. How do I get out of here? I don't know where to go. Are they moving? There's like two trucks like parked next to each other. Like lawn, lawn guys doing work. I literally don't know how to go around. So why do I have such lack of direction you ask? Right now I am staying at my parents and they live in an HOA. The streets are insane. Like I literally need, well, I need GPS for everything, but I literally need GPS to, I think this is a dead end. Everything looks the same. So there is no way to know where you are. It's not great. I do have gas in the car, so that's good. Don't hit the biker. Bike a little faster. Shit, can I actually just get over? This is the, could be the worst job parking like I may have ever done. I just back it now? No, no, we're not gonna do that. Um, can we look how, this is actually bigger than my head. I don't even know what size this is. I thought I ordered a venti and then she was like, I gave it to you in a bigger cup so you don't like lose any of the drink. I was like, I don't know what's going on. It's like, is this, is there a drink bigger than venti or is this a venti cup? Like, why am I not getting my iced coffee this size? Like, what am I doing with a grande? I love matcha, but I do think it is super basic and I, I love it though. I have lived on the road for over two years now in this very tiny 95 Chevy with my husband and two dogs. There's a lot going on in this little space. Maybe you didn't know that. Maybe you did know that. Now we all know that. This is a whole different lifestyle and I mean, there's no way that you can't miss things. When I say my old life, I mean living in a house, working, you know, pretty much nine to five or longer and having all the amenities in a house, you know, just your very typical life. So that was my old life my and my life now is living on the road full-time in this van and things are very different there's no way around that things are very different I think these are in no particular order first thing that I miss about my old life is, this is such an easy one to say baking oh my god do I miss baking I miss my big oven bread oh do I miss baking bread oh my god I would say bread is my number one thing I miss baking I would bake whenever I was stressed that was my de-stressor I got that from my mom and I would bake everything but it's not just baking breads it's like having the kitchen space fridge space even just the controlled temperature in a kitchen to properly you know let your dough rise cold ferment it in the fridge there are so many aspects that go into baking where even if I had an oven in the van it wouldn't be the same like the convenience of like, oh, I'm gonna bake something. I have my stand mixer and I have giant things of flour and sugar. That was my life and I definitely miss that. Anytime I go to an Airbnb hotel I'll stay at, I make sure there's an oven in there and I like kind of get it out of my system and enough where I'm not like going crazy like I miss it so, so much. But like bread, I feel like I won't, I won't even know how to bake bread anymore. Like that's scary. I don't want to think about that. The next thing I miss about my old life is a bathroom. This one's not like super, super high on the list, but there are circumstances, situations that you get yourself into where having a bathroom is really, really nice. I do have a composting toilet. I have the Ogo, which is, oh my God, the greatest thing that has ever happened to this van. Just the best composting toilet there is. The amount of times that I've been hungover in this van, anytime we get a plastic bag, those are puke bags. Why am I sharing this? Uh, that is because you can't throw up in the compost and toilet. Boot and rally. Boot and rally. Privacy aspect? It's whatever. That's not even on the list. It's literally just having full on plumbing when you're sick. Oh, this is, this is a good one. This one is, this one's high on my list. Having separate cars. Separate cars. Having a separate car from your house. That's what I should say. In this case, my house is a car. So anytime I have to go somewhere, I have to drive the house. Neither one of us can't just leave and go run an errand. I mean, we're used to it, but the convenience of just like, oh, I'll go grab it and jump in another vehicle and like I get to stay chilling or something, that's pretty damn cool. This next one is, I'm trying to think of the best way to word it. I guess this one will be just like 
my old income, like our old finances. This is one of those I don't miss all the time, but when money gets tight, oh, oh do I miss it. We were very financially stable. Now we're, you know, just flying by the seat of our pants, going with the flow, seeing what happens. Definitely miss the security, the security aspect of that. And this is just a choice that I made. I miss the freedom that I had where I really didn't have to worry about my finances and I could go shopping and I could buy, you know, whatever. But when I think about like the things that I was spending money on, it's not stuff that I need now. Also, it was one of the best parts living on the road. Like you're so freed without having materialistic things constantly in your life or like wanting those or needing those. But sometimes it's really nice to have nice things. I think that I'm a better person having less money because I don't look for physical things to make me feel better. When money stress comes along, I miss that security that I used to have. We'll get back there, it's not a big deal. Oh, while we're talking about, you know, all these materialistic things, I miss having a closet. I had a pretty minimalist wardrobe, like not an excessive wardrobe at all. I would rather have one nice shirt than five shitty shirts. I like shoes though. I like shoes. Biggest thing that I liked is that I liked having my things out where I could see them. And that is really the part that I miss the most. Going through your closet. Like these might be the things that you don't even think about. Having your clothes like hung up. My clothes are in packing cubes. Also having shoes out accessible. Like which shoes do I want to wear today? I don't know. Maybe accessibility is the key here. And it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. But when we're talking about things I miss, I miss having an organized closet. I miss shoes. Really miss shoes. And Charlie would be like, you have so many more pairs of shoes than I do. Like, what? Like I do, but like what? I gotta do some damage on this. I haven't even been drinking this. All right, old life. I miss going out. I miss going out to regular bars. I don't go out anymore. Like I don't go out. I like, I drink on the beach and like, I was gonna say in a parking lot, <laughs> which is like not far from the truth either. And it's always very low key. Oh, eyelash. I'm not getting dressed up anymore, which everyone loves getting dressed up. Getting dressed up is so fun. I used to go to trivia every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. And get sauced. And it was like the best night of the week. I don't have those regular social opportunities. And I could go out to a bar, but it's like, I don't know, it's not the same. I don't know why it's not the same, but it's not, it's not the same. I miss a couch. There is nothing more to this. I miss a couch. I miss coming home, plopping down on the couch, watching TV, reading, whatever, in like that perfect little corner spot of the couch. Um, yeah, I miss a couch, that's it. A good one, and the next one, is space to be alone, like truly alone. Now this is really nice that I'm alone right now. This is a rare occurrence because I'm staying at my parents, the dogs are at my parents, and Charlie's in New York right now. So I am alone, but I'm not like living alone. So solo van trips, oh, those are the best. And I love doing those. But not having space to be alone is the worst when you're fighting. I just get so frustrated and like I need to be alone. I need to slam a door. I need to do something dramatic. So in those cases, I'll tell you two things that I've done. One, I tried to slam the blackout shut, like the blackout curtains up here that come down. Tried to slam that shut and I sat in the front seat and I said, don't talk to me. Another time, that I flat out just left Charlie's ass in a parking lot. I know, I know. I'm literally so unhinged. And I left for like 30 minutes and I came back and I was fine. But I just, I left his ass in a parking lot. Yeah. This one, this one's kind of a complicated one. We're gonna call it like planning a vacation. It's that you take a vacation to go away and it's really fun to plan and you know, you go, go, go and you have so much fun then you go home and you go back to your life. My life now is that planning nothing is like my vacation. Traveling, driving, like doing new things, new experiences, new places, new people. Like there's so much adventure and new things in my life that when I need a break, I have to plan to do nothing. I don't know. It, I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if it's weird that sometimes I miss like my vacation being something really crazy and fun. My life now is like not permanent vacation or I would like, I would die. That is my whole list. That is, I don't even know if that was 10 things. I didn't even count them. Um, did I say it was 10? I don't even know. Maybe it's 10. Those are things that I miss about my 
old life and I wouldn't go back I miss these things from time to time but there's so many more things that I love about the life that I'm living now that I'm not ready to give up uh, I feel like I have a couple more years in me I don't know maybe I need to get dressed up and go to a bar though like maybe I should make that happen maybe I should look at this list and try and like learn from it or something hmm I think in any stage of my life there's definitely been things that I miss from my past, whether it was living in the city, this apartment, or the pizza place that was up the street. I think there's so many things you can miss from your old life, so let me know. Let me know something you missed from your life. Let me know if this list was ridiculous. The moral of this story is, I still don't know what size drink this is from Starbucks. And it's very large. It's so large. That's what she said. I'm 100% gonna think of at least two better reasons than I had in this video like while I'm driving home. I can just, I can feel it. Cause that's how life works. 